Good day people who YouTube, a bad player here, and today I got some tips and hell it loose. Today we're going to be covering artillery, artillery, using munitions, and one of the three resources in the game. It's a two position gun, with the first position being the gunner, second position being the loader. In the first position, you can traverse the gun up, down, left and right. And then in the second position, you can turn the entire gun left and right. In the first position, turning the gun left or right is limited. But turning the gun left and right in the second position will give you more rank, more distance to turn left and right. In the second position, you also have two shells you can fire. With the first shell being an HE shell, and the second shell being smoke. The HE shell uses three munitions, and the smoke uses five which is pulled from the first resource right up here. Every 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 team has three artillery guns. And then in the gunner seat, you have your mills on the left. This is your markers that you can use to reference off of, which is also shown in the bottom right. The mills and meters are set to a linear graph, which is that every 24 mil elevation is a decrease of 100 meters. So, doing so, every mil is also equivalent to just around 5 meters. You can use this as a manual guide in, in firing precise shots. If you, had a, if you had a target at 1,547 meters, you can round that up to 1,550, which is also the equivalent of adding 12 mil, because 12 mil times 5 is just around 60. So. That also helps. Overall, artillery you can use to support your team, pushing an objective, destroying garrisons, laying down cover fire for enemy attacks, and also you can just generally get a large amount of kills with this. Personally, the most amount of kills I've gotten is about 80 without dying, although this uses HE shells, you cannot kill enemy tanks in any scenario. Usually, you can just partially damage tanks. And it is extremely hard to also hit the tank. So, in my advice, if you have an enemy tank that's laid out and is shooting your team's garrison, I would suggest smoking your team or smoking the tank. One of the two. Overall, you want to listen to your commander. You don't want to shell places where your team's expecting to push up because you'll end up getting team kills. Another side note is that the uh, munitions kind of run very quickly because your commander uses it in all of his abilities. So you don't want to run this munition cap too low. You usually want to keep it above 200 and if it gets below 200 you want to cease firing. You don't want to fire anymore. Overall, pinpointing a good general location is pretty simple. We're going to use this as an example. So for manual, if you're not using a calculator, which I'll show later, is that right here we have 932 meters. Well here, I go 900, and I'm going to round that up to 35, down 7 mil, and I should be exactly within this little area. And overall, that's pretty simple. You can just ping it if you ever lose it. But you generally want to mark this, so I advise you being a squad leader in a locked sim uh, single lock squad, which allows you to mark for the rest of your team for either artillery or smoke. Another app, which I also very much recommend, which I'm going to change screens now, is Hell It Loose Artillery Calculator, which will be in the description down below. The artillery calculator can be used on any map that's added in the game. It allows you to pick what gun and what team you're on. So for this tutorial, I'm on St. Marie. So I'm gonna scroll down, click on the map. It's gonna prompt you with what team you're on and what gun. So I'm on the allies and I'm on the center gun. So I'm gonna go allies, center gun. 
and here we go this is a map you can usually click this right here and click this right here and it'll make the map a lot bigger and easier to see so for example we're going to use the crossroads again let's say that a friendly team has marked this location for a run of artillery shells so what you can do on this actual app is scroll in click where it is using references of the buildings and other things and it'll give you all the information you need at the top is going to be 780 mil which is going to be your elevation mark that you need to match down in the bottom right your degrees which is generally hard to line up but you can use it if you don't want to keep changing your mark around on the map the distance is overall going to travel and i'm not entirely sure what this means for this example i'm going to use this right here so i have to move and even though pings do go away you can just keep placing them And as you can see, at 15 degrees, I'm maxed out, but my target is still within the 15 degree. So, now I have my target lined up, I can elevate. I'm going to elevate to match that mil marker, which is 780 mil. So now I'm at 780 mil, I look down, I don't see I'm loaded, so I can load HE. and fire. Now usually I try to keep with doing around three shell bombardments. I don't want to keep shelling at a location and the enemy is nowhere near. Or if you're not looking at your map and you shoot six rounds, you could have a team that you, a friendly team that's pushed in and is now on your location. You can end up killing them. Usually the distance at which it takes is based off time. So usually it takes anywhere between two to 10 seconds to hit location. So keep that in mind. But also with this newest update, infantry has received speed bonuses. So now they travel at just around 18 kilometers. So, for that being reasonable, I would probably put an entire square between your team because if someone took off running, they would there way before your, your shell. And you don't need to be shelling if you're this close anyway. If you're shooting here, your team needs to be farther than a square away to keep you from team killing. On objectives, as you know, the game is not really objective based. When it comes to the game, you need to try to look for garrisons. So, and you need to kind of look and see where your team is. If you have a friendly here and a friendly here, and you see all of their team looking this direction and looking this direction, it's probably best to look into these rivers and the or the canals or whatever they are, and this trench, and you would shell it, providing them support. Um, and then if you have an enemy tank pushing this, you want to smoke this crossroads. I learned Kim not to shoot team that is in the objective. Overall, you're just trying to play a good support role for your team. You're not trying to go for kills, you're more or less trying to limit the uh, casualties in the battlefield. So anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy it.